Hi, my name is Sophia Sher, and this is my video response for the Whale Rider film for World Theater. For Prompt 1, I really liked this film right from the beginning. I watched this trailer before to get a better understanding of what the movie was about. It looked really interesting. When I was watching the film, it kept me wondering what was going to happen next. It kept me on my toes because it was a lot of action, a lot of drama. It was more contemporary than Throne of Blood because it was a newer film and it was from a different culture. I also liked that it was in English because I could understand the dialogue better than in captions. In American society, there's a mixture of culture, but there aren't shown in film very much. I learned about a whole culture that I didn't know about before. For Prop 2, the videos we watched for Week 10 related to the film because it was showing New Zealand performances. These dances were a large part of the film. The New Zealand Infantry Performing for Kaba Hapa video showed it, shows that it was a ritual to do this dance in wake of a death. It also shows that any people can take part in this ritual. Another co connection I saw that was the end of the film, the people were doing a dance and singing as part of a ritual when they were pushing the boat into the water. This mirrored the Kaba Hapa video of the dancers performing. This film is centered on ancestry and rituals in New Zealand culture. The main character, Pai, was isolated from most of her family because she didn't get to live up to her grandfather's expectations. Theater is an art form that savors rituals that are very old. The dances that, and singing in the film show rituals that are carried out in real life in that culture. For Prompt 3, I saw a lot of ritualistic themes throughout the film. In her school, Pai is a big part of their performances. She's usually the head of the performance and she invites all of her family to come watch her. She wants to make her grandfather proud of her. They are taught these traditions that have been passed down through generations. The power of ritual is shown when her grandfather wears the symbolic necklace of the whale tooth on his chest and when Pai learns the songs in school. When the whale washes up on shore, Pai thought of that it was her fault and she knew her grandfather needed help so she called to the ancestors. This was a powerful scene because Pai thought she was helping but she ended up, she didn't know what she was doing even when she was calling to them but it ended up a coincidence that the whales washed up. Pai's story impacted me because she went through a lot of triumph to get where she is today, and I see that a lot in our life today. She tried to show her grandfather that she was good enough, but he kept dismissing her. This reminds me of some aspects of American culture. I noticed a lot of sexist themes throughout the movie, and it's very prevalent in American society today. We are still dealing with a lot of sexism in our workplace and in our daily lives. When she finally reaches her potential, I was so happy that the movie ended that way. I thought she was going to die when she tried to save the whale, and it hurt me that she wouldn't be able to live up to what she was destined to be, but I knew that she would achieve greatness. And yeah, I really liked the movie, and this is my response.